Hello everybody, good morning and welcome back to a new vlog. Today's date is Friday, January 12th. It is currently 8 a.m. I'm about to start my work day. I'm actually working from home today, which is super nice. One thing that I love about my job is that there is like so much flexibility in days if I'm like not in clinic or if I'm not running an experiment, I really can just do all of my computer work from home, which is perfect for a Monday, the start of the week, kind of easing yourself in, as well as a Friday, kind of easing yourself out of the week and into the weekend. This morning, I'm just gonna be doing some computer work. I have like my cute little desk set up. I have my coffee made, I already ate breakfast. Also going to be lighting this candle from the brand Diptyque. Nico got this for me from Paris and it's the roses scent, but this candle smells so good. I've already burned through quite a bit of it, at least like two inches, but I'm gonna light this do all my work from home. In the middle of the day, I'll probably take a quick little running break, go out and get my daily run in, make lunch, come back, do the rest of my work. Tonight, I'm really excited because we are doing a girls' night tonight at Nico's house. It's gonna be all of the girls back together again. We'll be doing our secret Santa gifts. I think I'm bringing my gel nail kit so I'll be able to do everybody's nails. We'll have wine, snacks, fruit. It's gonna be an amazing time and I'm so excited. We haven't had a full-on girls' night with all seven of us in such a long time. But I thought I would vlog this little weekend in my life and I'm so excited to bring you along with me. It's almost 10 a.m. and I am gonna go on a little midday run right now. It's pretty good weather. It's like in the 50s, a little cloudy. So I think I'm just gonna run to the beach and back and then I will continue on with my work day. gotten into the habit of oiling my hair every time I go on a run now so I just came back from doing eight miles so I've had this rosemary oil sitting in my hair for over an hour and a half now I'm going to take a shower rinse it all out and I feel like my hair is growing faster like my friends have commented being like oh Michelle like you're growing your hair out it looks you know like really healthy and really nourished and then I also Today did a hair mask through my hair too. I used the Boldaplex off of Amazon. It's basically like the Olaplex repairing hair treatment, but it's the Amazon brand. So I have both and I've been like testing both and kind of comparing them. So far I feel like the Boldaplex one, like the Amazon version actually works. So I'm gonna go ahead, wash all of this out now, and then we will get ready for the day. I just finished taking a shower. That's why my hair is up in a little t-shirt right now, but it's, 12 30 i'm gonna make lunch i think for lunch today what i want to do is a green smoothie because i have like greens that i just need to get rid of and then since it is the end of the week i have like random grocery things that i want to cook so i think i'm just gonna do chicken sausage i just have one more left and brown rice magnificent it looks brown on camera but it's actually like a deep purple mm. that's so good we did some rice brown rice with taco seasoning chicken sausage i have all of my greens in this smoothie right here all of my fruits and vegetables in the smoothie a huge thing of water this is kind of <laughs> kind of a girl lunch but i love it i am just gonna get a little bit ready for the day even though I'm realizing it's like 1 p.m. I still have a little bit of work to do before I need to leave for Nico's. Obviously, like it's still pretty early. Sean is texting me right now. He's on a flight to New York for a business trip this weekend. I feel like the month of January for him has just been so crazy. But Sean is out of town this weekend again, and so I'm spending the weekend with all the girls. We have a girls' night tonight at Nico's place. Tomorrow is actually one of our really close friends, Ryan's birthday party. 
Levi's having a house party in Alameda and it'll be really fun to be able to see a lot of his friends again because he went to UC Davis and so he has like a whole UC Davis friend group and it's always a lot of fun when we like kind of combine our Berkeley and Davis friend groups. There's so many people. This weekend is actually a long weekend because Monday is a UCSF holiday for me. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So I'm really excited to be able to kind of have the weekend to ourselves. I'm happy I was able to get a run in before the weekend starts. We did eight miles today. So I basically just ran to the beach and back. I listened to a podcast. I like, honestly, I like listening to like political and tech podcasts because those aren't topics that I feel like I have expertise in. So I like to listen to them and learn about like what's going on in the world, learn about like what other people's opinions are, and then utilize that to be able to draw my own conclusions and make my own opinions. I'm about to finish this book that I'm reading called The Breakaway. I think when I actually do finish it, I'll do like a formal book review. One of my resolutions for this new year was to finish at least one book a month. Now this is a huge 180 because I feel like when I was in college, like before 2023, I would never read. I would never read for fun. I found it really really challenging to you know stick to a book i would start books but i would never finish them because i just like i just couldn't i don't know why and so that's why i made it one of my resolutions this year to finish at least one book per month and then that way i can also start doing book reviews i'm running a load of laundry downstairs right now and i also would love to finish that before i leave for nico's I need to hop on a call in about 15 minutes. I'm learning how to run a script on R. I'm not a huge coding or programming gal, but I do like to learn how to like utilize some of the tools that we have at work. Just to like run really basic scripts that extract data, put them in other places that you want. I think another one of my goals for 2024 is to be even more conscious of my spendings. I think last year my spending was really high because we had like so many trips. We went to Cabo for spring break senior year. We went to Europe for a graduation trip. I also used a lot of that money to submit secondaries for medical school. And so all in all, oh, I also like shipped my car to San Francisco from Illinois. I had so many like large spendings in 2023. And so this year in 2024, since I feel like post-grad, my life has definitely settled down a little bit. I want to be a bit more frugal in my spending, selective in what I spend my money on, and just be able to find small ways to cut costs. So whether that be like keeping an eye on my monthly groceries, um, going to the gym in my lab, as opposed to going to like a public gym. I think there are so many ways that you can cut your spendings in your day-to-day -day life it's hard though it's definitely hard you know like when all of your friends want to go out to eat obviously like i want to be able to join them and stuff so i think it's all about finding balance everything in life is just about finding balance and being able to balance out what your goals are what your values are while also you know like enjoying life enjoying your 20s i've been obsessed with this milk makeup stick highlighter nina got me this for christmas and i love it i literally wear it every single day also gonna put on the mario badescu lip balm which nina also got me then i am gonna layer another lip product this one is the Dior Lip Glow. I also got this for Christmas from Angela. I'm gonna layer that on. This adds like a really pretty glow to your lips. It also smells fantastic. We'll spray on a little bit of this Rare Beauty setting mist. Oh, I'm also gonna wear, do a little bit of perfume. This is Chanel Gabrielle. It's been my favorite scent for over the past two years. Now we are going to go back and do some work. We have been getting a ton of work done, which is great. Honestly, today's been a pretty productive work from home day, which can sometimes be rare. I'm just finished doing all of this laundry that I'm going to dump on the bed and then put away. I'm gonna put away all of that laundry and then I need to start packing because I'm spending the night at Nico's place tonight. So I want to pack a little overnight bag. 
we've headed to Trader Joe's. Now we're gonna get groceries for the weekend and also for the week ahead, just so that I'm entering into the weekend feeling super prepared, you know, having laundry done, a full fridge. I think it helps to set me up for success for the weekend and also going into the next week. packing up to go to Nico's right now. I honestly feel so happy that I was able to get some groceries from Trader Joe's before the weekend starts. So that way I don't have to like worry about it tomorrow. So I think it's supposed to be raining all day tomorrow. And like, I honestly just know I'm not gonna wanna leave my house when it's raining. It's almost 5 p.m. I have a couple of work emails that I need to send out, but I would like to try to do that when I get to Nico's place because I don't want to wait too long in San Francisco because there's gonna be a lot of traffic. But it was also perfect that I went to Trader Joe's because I got food for Nico and I to cook dinner tonight. And I also made like a small cup of coffee. We're also doing Secret Santa so I have gifts I need to bring out. Like literally so much I need to put in my car. We're at Nico's now, cooking dinner. Hello, hi vlog. What are we making tonight? Can you tell me? Um, we're making salmon. Oh, Emily Mariko's salmon bowl. Nico's already got our salmon on the pan. Do you like the way I'm covering the salmon? Is this your method oh, of steaming it? The, yeah, this is this is my method. I think I'm supposed to Very cover it. Good. I think I think that seems right. So we're gonna pan fry the salmon. Then we're also attempting to steam some broccoli. Oh. Starting to sizzle. Sizzle in a little. Attempting yeah. to steam some broccoli. Then we have brown rice. And then what else goes in it? The seaweed, the mayo, and the sriracha. Cannot forget the sriracha. It'll be delicious. Okay, Nico's kitchen. Oh yeah. Gorgeous steamed broccoli. Oh yeah. Gorgeous salmon. salmon. Welcome to our kitchen. We have the rice on the table. Mmm. <laughs> okay, wait, Nico. Do we combine in here? Um, oh, wait, do we combine? I actually have no idea. How is this, what do you, what are our thoughts about this salmon to rice ratio? What are our, I said this might be too much rice. I was gonna say we have too much salmon. You think? Okay, then maybe we're right, right in the middle then. We're right in the middle. And then we've got our broccoli there. Yeah. So what are salmon our- Salmon skin there. Mmm. Mmm. So we do this and then in here and then we add the sauces in here? Yeah, I think that's a great right idea. Now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> in action. Oh, this is in action. Oh yeah, that's, that's the good stuff. <laughs> that's the good stuff. That's you hear the crackling stuff. and the popping. <laughs> okay, wait, Loki, this is a lot. It'll be okay though. Yeah, we just do it on here. Yeah, because you have to mix all of it in. I feel like it might be overcooking this. Loki yeah. looks gas. Mayo. This Hella mayo. Special mayo. Oh wow. Where do you get that mayo from? It's like the Japanese supermarket. Some sriracha? Should I add it on here? Sure. All right, let's go. There we go. Mm. My like mouth is watering. My mouth I'm is so watering excited. Well. <laughs> Look at this amazing setup. Please, I'm gonna get on this chair. Oh this yeah. Like... Great job. Are you proud? Super proud of us. <laughs> How does she, she does it with like just one chopstick? It's like a mini dumpling. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's so good. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Let's do it again. <laughs> we absolutely devoured everything. Halfway through a bottle of rosé, life is good. Do this hand first. We're gonna prep the nail by filing off. What's so funny? They don't feel the same. No, every side feels a little different. See, this part is like rougher. See, this okay. side is smoother. This side, this side is a little rougher. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start with your pinky. Give me a pinky. Be so easy, it's lower. That was the night where the next morning I almost threw up the yeah. <laughs> Like, I was trying to look for porta bodies. <laughs> And immediately I'm like, I don't feel it anymore. Yeah. All we have to do is look at the porta potty and then I was like, immediately no. I'm like, super again. Like, I, I don't need to throw up anymore. 
Look at how ominous she looks. So ominous. So ominous. <laughs> They're coming in. Look at them! <laughs> we were never gonna make a reservation if it wasn't gonna be right yeah, now. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Chloe's got her nails going. Oh, yeah. January. It's already like 2.30 p.m. But we spent the morning in Belmont at Nico's place, got brunch together, and now everybody's kind of doing their own thing for the afternoon. Um, before we go to Ryan's party tonight, one of my very close friends, Ryan, he's in our friend group, he's such an MVP, he's having his birthday party tonight. So we're all going to that. It's in a suburb called Alameda, which is like, I wanna say like 30 minutes north of the city. So until then, I'm kind of just gonna chill at home. Probably start editing this vlog. Last night was so much fun. I love girls night and I just loved hanging out with everybody and it was just so much fun and I feel so grateful to be able to have like such a close group of girlfriends. I think that's so important for any woman and like especially growing up and like entering your adolescence. I think I'm very lucky to be able to have such a tight-knit group of girlfriends so like I said it's 2 30 I made another cup of coffee I had a coffee at brunch but I wanted a second because I'm feeling really tired I went to bed really late last night well I went to bed early compared to everybody else but late for me and yeah I think for the remainder of my afternoon see this is why I'm so happy that yesterday I got groceries and did my laundry because that's what I mean by like setting yourself up for the weekend right like it's a Saturday it's Saturday now but it's raining all day outside and so I got home to a full fridge clean clothes and I was like thank goodness past Michelle was looking out for future Michelle because I would not have wanted to get groceries and do laundry today especially since the weather is just so rainy and poopy outside right now but i kind of just like want to be at home and like relax and really chill enough of me rambling i'm going to continue editing this vlog i'll also probably read a little bit and it's just so nice that this weekend is a long weekend like i keep forgetting it's a long weekend and we don't have work on monday all in all life is good I'm gonna enjoy the remainder of my afternoon, drink some coffee, maybe I'll make a smoothie. And we ran yesterday, so we can take a little bit of a break day today. Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday. I realize I barely vlogged anything on Saturday because I didn't get home until like 2 p.m. and that's like when the remainder of my day started after our little girl's night sleepover. So I didn't really vlog a ton yesterday, but last night we celebrated Ryan's birthday in Alameda at his house. Today is Sunday, like I said. I got back pretty late from the party last night. I ended up not going to bed until like, I don't know, maybe like one. Um, so this morning I did wake up a little bit later. It's 9.51 right now. I woke up at like 9.30 I think. So excited for the day. I just feel like today is gonna be a great day. Like I really haven't had a Sunday to myself. I think today's gonna be a really good day. I woke up this morning and it was so sunny. 
and I woke up like to sun shining in my room which was such a huge contrast because yesterday was raining literally all day and I like had gotten home at 2 so I just like wasn't in a huge vlogging mood but today I'm feeling happy I'm feeling good it's the start of a new birth control week birth control pack plans for the day um, like I said it's like 10 a.m. right now so I'll probably have some breakfast right now um definitely like a more fueling breakfast because i am gonna fun run today i'm gonna have breakfast now and then as my breakfast is digesting i think i'm just gonna continue like editing this vlog we have tahoe coming up this next weekend so i want to start doing some tahoe planning making like a spreadsheet making lists of what kind of food we want to get solidifying cars stuff like that literally no plans for the evening as of right now I may ask some people to hang out later if I feel like it, or I'll just take this evening to myself. Either way is going to be totally okay, but it's just going to be a great solo Sunday. I'm so excited, and I think just the fact that it's so beautiful outside right now helps very, very much. So let's get our day going. <laughs> just been editing my vlog and I feel like now I'm at a pretty good place. I've pretty much edited everything that I have. It's 11.30 a.m. right now and I think I'm gonna start to get ready to go on my weekly weekend fun run. Before we go out to run, I do want to make like another piece of toast to have. I think we'll do like almond butter and banana toast as kind of like a pre-workout. And then my housemate Meg, who is so nice, she is a seasoned marathon runner and she gave me like one of her little gel packets to try on my run today. So I am going to be bringing that with me. I love San Francisco. I love San Francisco weather so much. I'm gonna go on my fun long run. Take maybe try to take some clips in the middle of it, but I will check in with the vlog when it's over. Hello, you guys. We are about 6.6 miles in. Just got to the beach, and it's so beautiful. Mile eight, we are on highway one now, running along the beach. Sun is really beating down, I'm getting really tired. I spent the first eight miles not listening to anything. So now I'm gonna put in my AirPods, listen to some music, take my gel, but look at this view.
we're done. 15 miles today. Very, very slow. Extremely painful. I, my legs hurt so badly. It's like my knees, my shins, quads, glute, everything in my leg hurts. Cardiovascular wise, I'm okay. I mean, I'm like speaking and I just finished running, but it's like, yeah, the pain in my legs is like, oh geez. So I think that means I need to lift more and do more leg days, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm tired. 15 today, new PR. I feel so exhausted right now. I definitely need to drink some electrolytes but I just got out of the shower. Really proud of our run today. I think it's like 3 p.m., maybe 3.30. I'm gonna have like a super late lunch and definitely wanna make a smoothie. And then I think tonight we are starting to make plans for what we wanna do tonight. Even though it's Sunday, it's a long weekend because nobody has work tomorrow for MLK. Kind of treating today like it is a Saturday night which is so awesome. I think our plans are to go to a sports bar this evening. There's some football game going on that Emily and Terang wanna watch. And then after the sports bar, we are thinking about going back to the game parlor. I think I showed it in a previous vlog, but it's basically a place in Sunset, so in my neighborhood, where you can pay $7 and you can play unlimited board games, card games, like they have a very wide selection that you can pick from. And we went, I wanna say, either last weekend or two weekends ago, and it was so much fun. I'm drinking this electrolyte drink right now. I think it's by Element. Oh my God, hella salty. I microwaved some leftovers. I made this like healthy taco dip. These are the electrolytes that I'm drinking right now. I just did an orange salt one. It is so salty. We have these vegetable and flax tortilla chips that I'm going to dip. I'm so excited. I realized this is like not a ton of food, so I honestly might need to make like dinner before I actually leave the house tonight. But I am gonna sit here, eat my little makeshift lunch. This is my green smoothie. It is so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have just been chilling for like the past three, two, three hours since I've been home. Um, I got ready a little bit, just put on like an outfit. I actually also got this new running top or just like this new workout top from Amazon. I'm going to meet up with Emily and Terrain at a sports bar pretty soon. We're going to watch a football game and then afterwards I think we're going to the game parlor. What are our plans for the evening? I'll show you what I cooked. This is gonna be our vegetable for the evening. I just did asparagus with some salt, pepper, red chili flakes, some kimchi. Back here, we are just making some noodles. I have all of my sauces and spices. We're gonna put in some ground turkey and also an egg. One thing that I love about Sunset is that it is significantly safer than other parts of San Francisco. It's like super suburban, a lot safer, like a lot more people out and just like families and stuff. So I'm very grateful to be living here. Mm -hmm. 